So I clear, we're going to be starting things off with uh, our hour, checking things out up in that astral form, seeing where they want to drop those stars before they start moving in. I like that they're starting with a push towards mid at the moment, because of course, once you get control, you can start to move out from there. And immediately, a nice little pick off onto Rain gives them a bit of an opportunity. And Rain just barely missing on that paranoia, swings out into an unblind Awa Awa, so that stings just a bit, but we're one for one across the board. Low HP on Ooh. Madison and no HP here on Hannah. So Dignitas looking to regain control of this pistol round as Awa Awa creep up towards this B site. Nothing is free at this point as that fault line tries to clear thing out over towards C Link. Milky Way, though, holding it down inside this A Link. Classic in hand, has a cloud burst to work with should she want to try and block some vision or reposition herself. A lot of time still on the clock, so Awa Awa don't necessarily have to commit. But they're down in numbers, and now it just gets a whole lot harder. Emily picking up a huge kill. That recon bolt can be tossed out, but with two standing, Awa Awa don't have a whole lot of options. At least they are going to be moving together, which is imperative. We've mentioned that a couple times uh, throughout this broadcast, as they're moving towards Seaside, which for the moment is somewhat free. But... Oh, run straight into a tripwire, which gives a ton of information. You can already see the rotation start to come through here. Immediately, Stephanie gets dinked out. And with Carly, the last person standing for her team, 9 HP in a dream. And Emily will put that dream to bed. Yeah, it, that's, that's a rough one to take a peek at, especially because they were going for the plant. Should they get the plant there, the rest of the team kind of gets boosted in credits. And you could quite possibly force, after losing that pistol... Uh, but two different pages, right? Stephanie swings back sight. Carly tries to plant safe and has to hop up to get a kill and then just doesn't have the time to do it there. So uh, I, I think at least for you and I, Sam, we've yet to see a force buy from the team losing pistol. So that would have been nice to see to kind of change up the, the monotony of the, the economy game early in these ones. But either way, Dignitas, back to their winning ways. Some way, somehow, they always seem to win pistol <laughs> in the first half. Well, you say that, but literally on the previous map, our hour were winning both pistol rounds, both the first half and the second half. So Dignitas is the first time they're winning the pistol round in this series. But do they win the second pistol round, right? That's where it becomes important. So yes, they do have mm -hmm. the slightly bigger guns here, but our hour starting to make their moves over onto the A site for that first pick off. Once again, dangerous look here for our. Last player standing. In the classics, they're able to find one. Teray trying to go crazy and find something onto Emily and good for a couple of kills. Now has that Empress on the line here in round number three, which this could really tip the scales in favor of Dignitas, even though they're going to be sitting on these Spectres still. Potentially if they can leverage something there, because now again, obviously they're coming up against the full rifle round. And this is this is quite telegraphed. This is how almost every single buy round goes. There's very few teams that deviate from this template. Ooh. A Vandal coming in for Emily there. They're yeah. kind of investing in her here. Uh, they kind of want her to be able to get some value. They realize that they're at the gun disadvantage, but Emily, who has been the MVP, she's the MVP of the previous match, and she really plays this Rainer exceptionally well. She's also got the Empress online. So you add that with the Vandal that she's now acquired for herself. Dignitas are not looking to lose this next round. Looking for a nice little C split here. It is going to be... Sniffed out, sniffed out by that trap wire inside garage as Rain does get spotted and is forced to back away. The stars now looking to come down. Still hanging out on the ground. There's that nebula smoke. Try and block all of that vision. Rain from downtown with the Spectre chips away, but doesn't find the damage. But Sholiana oh! is there to back her up. A double kill with the shock darts. And Dignitas find themselves in a 2v2. Stephanie now cuts it down to just the Empress and Emily, but a 1v1 working against the clock. It's a Vandal they forced oh. up, but Stephanie sits her down a 3k for the breach. And despite putting that little bit of extra into Emily because they needed her to be that clutch factor. And to be fair, she almost was. Pops the Empress at the end of the round there after getting quite a few kills, but unfortunately comes up against Stephanie. Stephanie manages to clutch out that last little kill there. Really well played here from our hour. They had the gun advantage. They leveraged that for themselves. And what's really interesting here is seeing that they're they're not buying up. So they win that last round. 
uh, obviously they lost a lot of their players. So their economy doesn't look as good as it could, but you can see that they're looking to make sure that they have a, a large economy going into future rounds, especially if they lose this round, they want to make sure that they're going to be able to buy up in the next round. So this is really forward thinking from our hour, and I, you, you love to see stuff like that. However, there is a Hunter's Fury available for Dignitas here, so gonna need to be careful of that and how it splits up the team and forces you away. Early off to a good start here for Awa Awa. Now the Hunter's Fury online as well. Oh, Sheriff there it is. Coming up clutch. And yeah, here's a Hunter's Fury. Sholiana trying to push everybody off the side. It's low <gasps> HP on Kali no! from the duel. And Sholiana finds that kill, make it another with the Odin. Stephanie. No longer alive to try and find the clutch here. Hannah has no, a huge no, flank and cuts down three on B. Awa, Awa, tie us up. That. All right, cool. <laughs> that, that was so well played there. The smoke comes down. Nobody checks that back corner. Nobody thought that she would be in that link corridor waiting. Here we go, have that replay. Look at that. Smoke goes down. One, two, triple tap. Oh, man, that was disgusting. Super well played there from Hannah. And this is what I was saying. So they didn't even lose the last round. They come through into the next round. They still have cash to burn. So if they lose this mm -hmm. round, they're still looking good in the next round. And it's an anti-eco. So they know that they can afford to be a little bit more aggressive. But with Milky popping the blade storm, that makes it that little bit more kind of hesitant. To get a bit of information, Emily was playing aggressive there, and they hear that sheriff, so they know at the very least, you no know, sheriff's bought up here. If you buy a sheriff, typically you don't have a bucky, so you don't really have to be worried about that as they look to push through, or if they look to push through a short. Oh. Anna, right back to her fragging wakes, picks up one on the imposter there. Theo will fall, so now all of that utility off the board from that cypher or dignitas. It's an expected round for Awa Awa. Like you noted, those blades still online. You could see something crazy coming out from Dignitas to try and turn this one around. And you find this Ooh. these couple of close kills inside Garage. Could they push this way? There's some weapon upgrades for your squads. And now Milky. Oh, man. The crossfire set up. No, no Dre looking the other way. Hannah still goes good for three on the round. They try to back Hannah. up the blades. They just oh couldn't do it. She's one away from the ace. But Sholiana will deny... Now there's just nowhere to go. No time. 21 HP. A ghost. We might see Shuliana cosplay a ghost here as she peaks <laughs> three. Only two rounds in this van. They're just going to look to save here. Economy is good, so the save doesn't necessarily hurt, and a rifle in hands is A-OK, -okay, but Awa Awa looked so good holding that one down. I'm super impressed. Yeah, I, I rattled off the stats and I was like, yes, the air attack side is really good on Haven. Heard her. But like, they're actually proving it now. They're showing up. They've still got a couple of ultimates online. Yeah, they're about to have the blade storm. Two more kills. Or if Maddie can get an orb and a kill, then that's going to be the blade storm as well. This is where they need to stop being careful. Milky Way has dropped every last cent she has into getting that operator. Doesn't have any armor. So she's a bit of a glass cannon at the moment. Nothing really to defend her from the onslaught of damage that could potentially come through. She's going to be holding that B site because this tends to be where our hour push through from. So if our hour swap up their direction, if they try and push through a different avenue, then they should have a clean run towards one of the sites. And a tag leads to a Hunter Shuri from Carly. Unfortunately, going to oh. split the uprights on that last shot. So Sholiana walks away with just taking a bit of damage. Sageless in both of these comps. So no heals for that Sova, unfortunately. So we'll see how Sholiana plays around the 70 HP. Meanwhile, oh. a play towards A. This is what we've seen from Dignitas, though. They like to leave Thea here all by her lonesome. And that tag oh, on the there. cam was enough to back him off, Sam. They immediately start to make the rotation. They need to be careful, though, because Emily is right here. They just run straight past her. They throw a cloud burst in so they don't see her running, and they make their way towards that sea psych. Now, of course, they do need to be careful because they're still... Oh, my earth, the double bait as they move their way back towards the B site. They ran past, so they had kind of elephant vibes going through. They shift walk their way back towards the A site. The full rotation's gone over towards C, and they're just going to book it towards the A site to put that plant down. Unfortunately, 
for Dignitas. Emily wasn't spotted out, so probably heard those footsteps, which means the rotate gets here a bit quicker than it would have. And the Rolling Thunder used just for good measure to try and clear out that side. Stephanie takes quite a bit of damage on the way in, trying to stop Emily from finding her way into the site. It's a 5v5 retake. Neural Theft available for Awa Awa should they find a kill up close and personal. Rain oh. picks up one. Carly going to trade it back immediately. They drop down from heaven and the kill feed just gets flooded, but we're cut down to the last one for Dignitas. It's Rain. And working against the clock, the pressure is on. Rain is the one to get it done. That recon bolt, not going to get the info because of the dark cover. Rain able to get it halfway. Quite possibly might just be sticking it. Will the snowball no pros don't oh, fake? The but Carly finds the kill. Oh. A 4K on the round to propel Awa Awa ahead. And it actually looked like Carly was hesitating for a half second there. She was looking towards the side, waiting. And suddenly she realizes, all right, I got to go. I got to spray. And she manages to kill it. And that's why it's so important to know exactly where your teammates are planting things. Because when there's smokes, when there's utility running through and you can't see anything, all you know is that somebody's busy diffusing. You need to know the exact spot where that spike is. And that's exactly how we managed to get a clutch round there. Our hour looking so good on this Haven map. Coming into this next round, they've used a couple of their ultimates, but they still have the upload which means that they'll be able to find out, well, they'll need to get a kill first, but they'll be able to find out exactly where the entirety of Dignitas are. All Dignitas really have to play with here is the Shrouded Step. Our, our also got the Operator off the board, which means that, you know, Milk's economy would have been dashed a little bit. All she's going to be able to come in here with is the Rifle, so no Operator that they need to be worried about. Even then, a slow start. Once more, creeping over towards A. They, they have... They quite possibly have figured out that they're looking to play retake on A. And they're close rounds. That last one very close in the retake. Could have gone either way. Uh, you know, pros don't fake. Sometimes you just got to stick that spike <laughs> in and hope for the best. Unfortunately, it didn't go Dignitas's way in that round or Rain's way in that round. We'll see if they can do it again. Same situation. 5v5 retake. Just about the same ultimates online. Although because of that plant... Ture is going to have that cosmic divide, which makes things a whole lot more dicey. And of course, on top of that, we've got Emily going on a wild flank here, which Ture is expecting. So she's going to be holding down this A long. Oh no, she was just going into her astral form. She is trying to hold it down though, but trades are going back and forth on the side through the smokes. And this time it's up to Carly again, but can she clutch it up? No, Milky Way instead. A huge 4K in response to get Dig back in the win column. And that was a very, very chaotic round. I think that Dig were a little bit slow to react there. They were kind of expecting our hour to play those mind games and our hour just walked onto A site. <laughs> they got the plant down and then Dignitas didn't even wait. Immediately, all of that utility starts coming out. The cloud bursts, just everything that you can think of gets thrown out. The shock dots, trying to make sure that they can shut everything down. And then, of course, you just have Dignitas popping off, managing to get quite a few kills there towards the end and clutch out that round. This map is going way closer than what we saw previously on Ascent. And we can already see how this kind of back and forth has damaged Dignitas's economy because two of their players are coming into this with a Spectre and a Bulldog. It's less than ideal. In recent rounds, the way that things have played out, the Hunter's Fury has come online. The Cosmic Divide, now the Blade Storm online here for Ow Ow. And for Dignitas, they haven't been able to, to net a whole a whole lot. Emily does have the Empress now online from that last diffuse in the last round. And from the shadows has been available for rain and can sometimes be difficult on this defending side. Outside of just gaining information, it can be difficult to uh to find a way to employ that ultimate. Like you said, they played things a bit differently. The cipher this time you want to over towards it. C, oh? A completely free. They actually send the divide towards A. Milky Way's gonna spot out this info though. Knows it's a flank or knows it's a fake. Excuse me. Oh my, and, oh my goodness, they just keep doing it. It's the back and forth. Yeah, this ping pong match can go really badly though because Dig seem to have read it quite well. They've just gone back to their positions now. They're waiting until something actually pushes through. This wall isn't gonna last forever either. There it goes. It's completely off the board now and Dignitas just need to play for the retakes here. I, I absolutely love that play. It was, we fake towards C. We get spotted oh! out as Emily finds that kill. Stephanie was looking for something on the flank. Unfortunately, 
Not quite looking in the right direction. As Emily finds some value on the flank this time around. Has the Empress available? We are still in a 4v4 at Hunter Shiri. Also online for Awa Awa. So Carly looks to be playing off site. Might try and have some backup for the team as Milky Way cutting down on the flank of her own. Emily able to get on the board, taking down the duelist. It's all down to one. It's all down to Carly again in this round. Able to knock off two. Oh. Not able to bury the third. No utility available to keep herself alive. Very close on time, but Dignitas will knot us up at four. So these fakes can be really, really powerful, but there are instances where they start to lose their potency. It's kind of like diminishing returns. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're doing it too often, the enemy team are going to start to catch wise that you're trying to fake. And if you're doing these like double, triple fakes, you sometimes tend to trip yourself up more than the enemy team. Now, Dignitas, they kind of have that fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, or fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me uh, kind of vibe going on there. As we mm -hmm. actually saw once that bait started, Dignitas were like, whoa, 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 okay, we're not going to fall for this. We're going to default back to our positions. And once we have information, then we move. And they win out that round because they play patiently instead of reactively. Oh, and they're playing quick here. This is the proactive oh. play from Awa Awa. Madison dashing through Garage. Unfortunately, only able to find one kill with that ultimate, but Stephanie is right there behind her. Oh. Tries to go for the upgrade. Gets buried by Sholiana. But it's a retake again. 3v3 across the board. And that Hunter's Fury earlier in the round actually cut Ture down to very low HP. And we saw a very minor trade over towards C Long. Knocking Hannah down very low. Well, Emily looking to get a whole lot of value here with the Empress online. Takes on the trap wire, finds the head of one. Now looking for more. Can they dethrone the queen oh, as Carly big. finally uses? That Hunter's Fury this time around. Therese able to find one kill, but they're all shut down. They try to stop the push, but Dignitas is just too good on the retake. Dignitas kind of starting to get their stride again. I spoke about how they have really good map control. And for a time, they were kind of floundering a little bit. They lost quite a few rounds to Awa. And to be fair, these were rounds where Awa performed really, really well. They managed to get some good baits off. Uh, they managed to win out quite a few aim duels. And they had some really good crossfires set up. But now Dignitas are starting to get used to the flow of the match. And this is what I said about C9 in the previous uh, series as well. But it's taken Dignitas a little bit longer to get used to the flow here that being said i think that our hour are creative enough that they are going to be able to turn the tides again they're just going to come up with a different wild strategy that dignitas are just going to look at and go what ha what well that that kill right there has me uh, lost for <laughs> words is milky able to find not only the kill but dash away completely unscathed and the last time we saw Milky get any information on oh this side, God. it forced a C push. This time, they're still trying to send it this way. Emily does get spotted, and the shock dart's just barely going to go wide oh, there, Emily. missing from behind. And she just hasn't moved an inch. Goes good for a kill to match her teammate. And Milky Way not done yet. Two kills on the round. The spike down in a precarious spot. Unbeknownst, though, to Awa Awa's. The weapon swap comes through on accident, trying to grab that spike. Nobody was watching that. So, and I don't know if they <laughs> know saw. they had the spike down there for Dignitas. This is, again, a very good defensive round for Dignitas. I must say, Milky feels like one of those players that's just kind of everywhere. Mm. You know, it's like you can't escape from her. And yes, like Jet has a ton of mobility, and you often play her as a bit of a roamer, especially when she has the... Um, the operator in her hands but milky has been playing that roaming jet really really well one minute she's here the next minute she's there she's getting kills here there and everywhere and she's performing really really well here now our hour with the last two players standing they are gonna be able to get this spike down but with only two players left make that one make that none and when it rains, it pours here on the seaside. Dignitas, <laughs> Rain. At, at the at the very least, grab themselves an even half push in their, uh, their way, six to four. And to, to kind of go back on that point about Jet, it's almost similar to Reyna as well, where if you're peeking something, you're saying, hey, let's just swing together and trade me, right? Awa, Awa, we talked about them wanting to, or us wanting to see them work together a bit more, you know, try and trade kills and swing off of one another. 
they're not allowed to do that because Milky Way grabs a kill, dashes away immediately. Emily can do the same exact thing, pick up a kill and use that dismiss to get away. So those two agents are doing so well in making sure that Awa Awa cannot work together. It's when it comes to the, the kill factors, we see a, a tactical pause here from Awa yeah. Awa to try and reel it back in with two rounds left in the half. And we actually saw Awa Awa take attack pause in the previous uh, round or the, the previous map as well. Didn't quite go their way though, but it was mm -hmm. also around about this time. Uh, I think it was five to four, in fact, uh, when they when they took up their their previous tack pause. And but again, Dignitas were able to just kind of push back a little bit harder. Now this is a good place to take that tack pause because there's two rounds left until we swap sides. So they want to try and even out the score they don't want to be going into the next round at an eight to four it's what happened to them on ascent they don't want a repeat of that they want to try and even this out so that they have a much better fighting chance coming into the next one even if they just take one more round here and bring it to a seven five that is a respectable score line at the half and it's more than enough especially if they win those pistol rounds again they they even out the score line but if they even it out now and they win the two pistol rounds that puts them at a two-point lead so it's really important that whatever decision they make now in this tack pause, they're able to execute it. They don't have a full buy. They've got one player still running around with a less than ideal weapon. But I'm not going to discredit them because they do still have the Rolling Thunder and we saw how devastating that was on Ascent. Wow. So the, the strategy completely switched to the opposite side of the map for Dignitas. Instead of looking to retake A, they're playing that retake on C, which means a free plant, but a 5v5 duel now as the post plant's positions come through. The Rolling Thunder is online. We've seen that bode very well for Awa Awa in that last map. In this one, it has been used, but it didn't get a whole lot of value as that site was already cleared. There's the gravity well to pull one in. Ooh. Hannah gets caught off guard in the neural theft for the information. So now all the post plant positions and there it is the trade they're trying to find it but the dismiss comes through back and forth we go and it's all down to the breach with the ultimate in hand the fault line available the diffuse comes through all three get tagged by this but there's so many smokes there's so much to obscure the vision she doesn't have the angles on low hp the diffuse gets stuck it comes on through and dignitas push to seven I don't know if you meant this pun earlier, but you were like, when it rains, it pours. And I think that we just saw that live and in full color because rain really, really popped off in that round. I think that that Rolling Thunder was a little bit of an overcommitment because like you said, there was still so much utility still on the board. She was the last person alive. It was a 1v3. Yes, there was definitely potential there to turn it around. But if she'd saved it for this round... You know, you've got the wall. Maybe you have the wall and the Rolling Thunder. You get something done there. There's a couple of ultimates that might come online for Dignitas here if they get one or two kills. They only really have the Blade Storm available here at the start of the round. So holding on to that Rolling Thunder may have proven more useful. But this is the last round in the half. And Awa Awa have to give it everything that they've got if they want to make sure that they're not going into this next half at an 8-4 deficit. An 8-4 would be very reminiscent of the last time they are on Haven, obviously yeah. on the inverse, but the last map as well. Awa Awa found themselves down 8-4. to four. So this could already be that uh, that comeback story Could we see a 7-5. to five. That spike gets planted in an awkward spot, and I think they did that because the Cosmic Divide is now online. So as the retake mm -hmm. comes through, there it is. That Cosmic Divide just cuts off the back of sight, and you have to push not only on the other side, but there's so much space given over to Awa Awa through this. As Stephanie is being a nuisance with the flash points. Shock darts going through. Paranoia on top of it all. Everything going to be cleared underneath this heaven side, but now they have to bridge oh. the gap. Milky oh. Way, though, going huge with the ultimate. Awa Awa had the plan, but it falls apart. Now running out of time as that spike. I don't Oh, it does. It did get halfway. Okay, the spike going to be diffused. Dignitas going to grab eight and Awa Awa. They gave it their all, but they just couldn't get it done in that last round. I, I feel like a common uh, misplay has been the precise placements of those walls. Because there's a lot of potential with the wall, but it... I think it's not just about where the wall is being placed, but it's also about realizing exactly where the enemy team is. Because you put the wall up, 
but they're not gonna they're not pushing from that uh defender spawn side they're, they're pushing from a site so it doesn't matter that the wall is cutting off the the defender spawn so you really do need to be thinking kind of more three-dimensionally there you know not just about one particular avenue yes you cut off that avenue but sometimes that's just not enough and with the patience that dignitas have and how they play together as a team you need to be trying to counter that as well so our hour with a really good look overall it's these small micro missteps that if they tighten up on i mean they've been performing out of their minds they've had some phenomenal rounds and it really is just coming down to those small things so if they tighten up on that then they will they will be a force to be reckoned with but this match is not over yet eight and four in the half it is reminiscent of what we saw earlier on ascent but this has been a really really good map for our hour overall and now that they have a chance to defend We'll see if they can turn this one around. Dignitas just, they seem to to thrive inside of, of that chaos that we saw in that last replay package. And I, I'll be honest, I was thinking for a while as we see uh, the the, the pre-round rituals, everybody getting warmed up here. <laughs> love to absolutely, absolutely love to see it. Now we have the unpause and we've got some time. The retake looked really good. Obviously, there's no retake on the attacking side for Dignitas. So they're really going to have to be potent. And the point I was making before we saw that ritual there was the Blade Storms have felt a little dull for me. Or, you know, mm -hmm. just the, the use of a, a poor pun there. And, and Milky Way <laughs> came up huge there at the end. At quite possibly one of the best times to do it uh, in such a big way to close out that, uh, that half for Dignitas. Yeah, absolutely. I think that we we've seen the the blade storms get popped quite often and it's one of those abilities that is also a really good deterrent so it might not necessarily get you kills but as when the enemy team realizes that the blade storm is up they kind of pull back a little bit they don't want to aggress in on it because they know how deadly it is so even when it's not getting kills it can still work as a don't come here because we have this and you don't want to get killed by this and that's a great way of trying to funnel the enemy team into a particular area well, speaking of funneling into a particular area, oh Madison earth. trying to get away there, but running into a teammate as Dignitas funnel into oh. this C site. Rain able to find the one on the flank. Only one remaining. We've seen Hannah pick up a 4K, but it was with rifles against pistols, I believe. It wasn't necessarily in just that pistol round. Dignitas, it, it, they looked they looked dicey on these second half pistols. This time they come in absolutely Ooh. huge as the running spray and pray. Oh. Tina down to 16. Emily gonna finish off the job there that was started by Sholiana. Nine to four. Surely ten to four. We might see Dignitas on double digits here. It, I mean, would you would you force in this situation if you're Awa Awa? You're on defense. You could get buckies and armors, or or would you say just stick to your guns here, hang out until that that first rifle? I think you you save here because again, when you win this round, Digni if if Dignitas win this round, they're on ten, and if you force up here and you lose your economy is a mess and yeah. dignitas have to win with three rounds so again you do need to be playing a little bit more safe here yes there is kind of the the loser streak bonus but it's not massive particularly not now in the the second round of the the second half so you do need to be playing that just that little bit more carefully however that does mean that dignitas have the gun advantage here and that nine out of ten times translates into a round win that is not an official step, by the way. I made that up on the fly. It seemed accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it, typically, it does go that way. It, I think the only time you see it fall flat is when there isn't a whole lot of respect given, uh, which I see in all of my all of my competitive games across the board, where you don't buy full <laughs> armor. But as we've been swapping through these players, every oh single one heart. we've seen so far has that the 50 armor uh, on top of the 100 health. So it, it's so much harder for the classics to even get close to cutting them down with uh, a, a right click to the head and two to the body can get you know 120 something damage down with that extra armor that is really that that extra factor that makes this round really unwinnable for our hours they just try and find whatever they can a shorty in the hands they push to the back of the site nice flash point reload needs to come through from maddie as they're able to cut down two to ray now with the classic in hand not able to find a weapon unfortunately has the stars available, has the smokes available. Could look to get a little frisky going in with the astral form there. Unfortunately, 
Rain sniffs it out, sprays her down through the smoke. A nice 3k on the round. It was to be expected, but I, I would do make it hurt a little bit. When it rains, it really do pour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that. that is going to be my favorite pun from now on. Anytime I uh, cast Dignitas, I'm going to be using that. <laughs> um, I was a little bit slow to rotate there. I think that it, they were a little bit slow on the uptake as to how quickly Dignitas were pushing out onto the site. And now, so this is where we get into why they needed to save in the previous round. So now it's 10 to 4. If they win this round, then they at least look good. They can start to build up some of their economy. If they lose this round, we're one round away from match point. Again, that's why you always want to be coming into the second half with as many points as you possibly can have. 8 to 4, best of a bad situation. Our hour didn't win the pistols this time around. They won both pistols on Ascent or on Haven. Yeah, Ascent weren't able to do the same on Haven. And now you can see the effect that it's having on their scoreline. And Dig with the SMGs looking to take the fight right to him. Close quarter combat towards this B site. Rain looking to get the spike down. Not a whole lot to answer at this point outside of shock darts. And yep, actually nothing used there to stop that. So the post plants in full effect as both the Cyphers able to get on the board. Hannah and Thea going good for a couple of kills. Thea finds another though, cutting Carly down the spike. Now being defused, they have to just push through the smokes. Emily's able to do just oh, that wow. and find two kills. Hannah on the flank through mid, not able to find anything but one kill on the round. And, and this is the, the picture you painted, Sam. Dignitas at 11. The economy incredibly poor for Awa Awa. And I mean, backs against the wall is the understatement here. Oh man, this is such a, a deep hole for Awa to dig themselves out of. And we've seen teams do it before. We've actually seen Awa do this before. But... Oh, it's going to be tough, particularly because their defense on this map is not as clean as their offense was. Dignitas have just been really, really good at getting onto site quickly and maintaining control of that site. So now our hour with the Supreme Gun disadvantage, they're likely going to lose this round. They're going to have to full buy the next round. And once we get to the next round, should they lose this one, Again, it's that perpetual match point. So every single round counts from here on out. And Dignitas, they realize that. They know that they have the advantage here. And they're not going to play irresponsibly. Look at how patiently they're playing this. Moving in slowly, they've still got a bit of a cypher lurk. Watching those flanks as well. Not taking anything for granted as they're going to burst their way onto site any second now. They are going to need to be careful, however, because with two people on site, including the breach, it could make it difficult to, you know, breach the site. Yeah, and both Leers going to be used there as Stephanie with those flash points able to slow things down for a second both oh. jets on the board a nice little fake That's tailwind good. there and maybe not give away this position oh. but show Liana ready for it up close and personal we'll find the kill and it bag that one on to Madison now the spike to be planted three stars available as it looks like maybe a couple of smokes to go down to try and stop any entrance or exits Awa Awa forced up in this round, now cut down to their last three members. And could quite possibly be pushed to map point. Thea finds one on the flank, and now you have to be wary about pushing on the site. Because where is that Cypher? You're down to your last two, and you just have to send it running out of time. 37 HP oh. on one, now only down to one. As Tere does not have a whole lot going in her favor. Might just look to save oh. the Bulldog, but Thea says, I don't think so. No way, Jose. Map point, series point, point. here for Dignitas. And Awa Awa, it's going to be another yard sale by. Oh, Haven is such a difficult map to get control of sometimes. And I, I feel for Awa because, again, they've got all of that potential in the world. But coming up against a team like Dignitas, it's it's difficult, you know. But of course, being so far in the bracket, you're going to be coming up against the best teams. And of course, they should be considering themselves as one of those best teams. To have made it this far. They might be in the lower bracket, but damn it, they made it this far. Now the Bladestorm is going to be popped as we find ourselves on that match point. Our with the janky buy. Dignitas with three ultimates online and full rifles. It'll take a miracle, a Herculean task hour here to try and get another point on the board let's see if they can make that that dream come true basically a five point stance across the map here 
for the defense. They don't want to give up B for free this time around. They're A-OK -okay to play retake on that A side as Tere holding it down inside the link, trying to get any information, any sound cues that she possibly can. Nice fault line, going to get the stun onto Milky Way, unbeknownst this Awa Awa squad because they don't have the info and a couple of kills. Make it three, make it four. When it rains, it pours. Again, who better than Astia? Finds the kill on the counterpart. Imposter down and Dignitas bag a 2-0 series.